Genetically modified organisms can be found in hundreds of crops and even everyday healthy foods. But do you really know what you're putting into your body every day? This was never brought to my attention growing up, but once I took a class where the idea of GMOs in my food changed my life forever. The subject is very important because of the fact that it is so controversial. There is so much research on both sides of the harmful versus healthy debate. The development of genetically modified organisms have been a very controversial topic among families, farmers, and even environmentalists. How they started to form, how they affect one's body, and the long-term effect on the environment are all factors in this discussion. Genetically modified organisms made a breakthrough in 1973 by Herbert Bauer and Stanley Cohen. So let us discuss why GMOs are so prevalent today and why they came to be so popular. Crops have been being modified for years, so this was just another step in that process. The purposes include um, controlling over pests, weather, and now making foods bigger and even canceling seeds in some crops. According to the FDA, they say that the reason for genetically modified modification today is similar to what they were thousands of years ago. Higher crop yields, less crop loss, longer storage life, better appearance, better nutrition, or some combination of these traits. Another reason GMOs became so popular was because they were fed to dairy and meat cattle. 95% of these cattle eat GMOs crops, which adds to the battle of buying meats that were raised unorganically. There can be a stigma associated with the idea of cattle eating these modified foods. Again, the FDA put this out into to the people saying that research shows that foods like eggs, dairy products, and meat that come from animals that eat GMO foods are equal in nutritional value, safety, and quality to foods made from animals that only eat non-GMO foods. After the start of the GMO fad, many started to question how the unknown laboratory-made food can affect people. Imagine, Babies ingesting something that was made in a lab only a few years ago? Genetically modified organisms have been, inge um, have been artificially manipulated in a laboratory. That definition alone is scary to think that we are ingesting foods that have been altered in such drastic ways. Have people really tested the effects this can have on our body? The Institute for Responsible Technology conducted a RAB lab a rat lab, reporting that rats fed a diet containing a GMO potato had virtually every organ system adversely affected after just 10 days of eating this. After this study, many other laboratories debunked this lab test by testing rats for years, and they never found any link to the GMO crops and non-GMO crops. This is another example of how controversial this topic is. Um, depending on the information given, each side can be easily backed up. According to a study conducted by doctors at Purdue, no health issues were associated with the ingestion of GMOs. Similarly, there are no health benefits that are given to these consumers. The almost scary part of this includes a doctor named Dr. Goldsboro stated that this may change in the future as technology develops and becomes more sophisticated. Not only are there questions on how they can affect one's body, but there are also concerns at how GMOs can impact the environment. In many cases, they can negatively impact this environment. The use of herbicides is negative because they can remain active in the environment for long periods of time, potentially causing soil and water contamination and adverse effects to non-target organisms. This can be detrimental to our environment. One study conducted states, as a result, genetically engineered crops are responsible for increasing herbicide use by 527 million pounds in the United States over the first 16 years of commercial use.
On the contrary, there can be benefits of genetically modified crops that can make the land change in positive ways. Reducing pesticide use is important because it is awful for your body when ingested, even though they are sprayed on many crops. Earth Justice claims one of the significant environmental benefits of genetically modified crops is the dramatic reduction in pesticide use, with the size of the reduction varying between crops and introduced trade. After all this information and research, at the end of the day, it is a personal decision to make the choice to buy GMO or non-GMO foods. Hopefully you are informed on how the start of GMOs were created, how they affect your body, and the different aspects of the environmental impacts they are creating. Now that you have heard different research and processes, you can tell your, for yourself if, buy, not, if buying GMO-infused foods are worth it. Thank you.